Hello and welcome to Technic Tutorials Foundcraft Halloween Special Part 1. In this I'll be showing you some Foundcraft stuff as well as some nice little tricks for making Foundcraft that little bit easier. So to start off with, in Foundcraft there are things called artifacts and to get these artifacts you need to find them either as mob drops or in dungeon chests but dungeon chests are rare and apart from that there's no quick or easy way to get lots of artifacts and you will need lots of artifacts so I discovered this other way Foundcraft adds some special mini dungeons to the game they're a little 3x3 three three square of either cobblestone or mossy cobblestone and they have a little chest in the middle and it's just like a dungeon chest but these are same frequency as normal dungeons so how are you supposed to find them because they're smaller that's where mistcraft comes in mistcraft has something called a cave world uh, there cave world and a cave world is a world with another world underneath it you spawn on either the higher or the lower world and as you can see it is perfectly flat because we are at 128, we're quite high up. And down here is a lower world. And in this lower world, it's pretty much an ordinary world with a roof. It's got grass and water and an ocean. Because this is technically underground, the chests are here and as you can see I've put the torches there to, to show them you can easily find them, see there are there are three over there you can easily find them in a cave world and for some reason they're all at the same level in this one which is level 32 but inside each one you get ordinary dungeon stuff like tracks and gunpowder, coca beans etc but you also get thaumium ingots, common artifacts, uncommon artifacts, forbidden artifacts, eldritch ones, and then you get... And you need as many of these artifacts as you can get, and they're these very strange looking things. I mean, I've got... I'm in creativity mode, creative mode, so I can easily find them. Even on, on ordinary mode, you could just swim to these and I'm finding absolutely tons and they're just so easy to get to the downside of coming looking in cave worlds for these chests although you do find a lot of them because it's all underground and all in the dark you will get quite a lot of mobs spawning I'm on peaceful see so they just instantly spawn because it's very dark down here but in each of these chests you get at least two artifacts so if you get two artifacts per chest and I mean I, this is the most I've ever found and in about three minutes I've collected all of these and that that is incredible I mean most of them are pretty useless but some of them and if you are lucky enough to find an ocean like this then a ah, tome then you you could be just as lucky in finding all of these artifacts you need as many as you can and when there's such an easy way as this of getting them then it's ridiculous not to use it it says that they're the same frequency as ordinary dungeons but I don't believe that I've never seen dungeons this clustered before see here's one on land they're not all in the water and this has got just as much good stuff in it but another thing to remember is this is a miscraft world and I've already seen some decay so you need to grab what you need and then get out because cave worlds I don't know if they're more unstable than ordinary ones 
but it can't help. And you can always get artifacts from killing zombies and skeletons. They they drop basic artifacts. Nowhere near as good uh, as good to, as the stuff you get from chess. That is a nightmare, I believe, or a bat horse. Yeah, I think that's a bat horse. And they only spawn underground. So in a cave world, they're a big danger. See, they're dotted all over. They're not just in the water. I've never seen that before. Pickaxe of the core. That, that's a high-level thing that you can actually make. And it, it digs very quickly. So it goes to show that there are lots of things you can get from going to a cave world. And if you want a challenge, come here with mobs on. Or if you want to farm artifacts, just turn them off. And it'll allow you to just walk in, grab the stuff, and always bring your linking book. Thank you for watching. Keep an eye out for the next part of the Halloween special. Bye-bye.